What's going on guys? So today this is going to be the Elder Scrolls Online character creation let's play. Now I am going to show you each race and class. I'm going to post it and I'm going to wait for comments on what kind of character to build. Uh, I personally am uh, really back in the day Elder Scrolls player and I really enjoy the Elder Scrolls online. I have a few add-ons that you will see later on whenever I'm playing. Alright, so we're gonna look at the races and each alliance and we're gonna see what you guys think. So Breton. The Bretons are really good spellcasters and they have a bonus to magicka and spell resistance. Uh they're they're a decent class. The orcs have a giant, giant boost to heavy armor and health rege regeneration. And that's why I personally like these guys for tanks or essentially anything that you would think of. Redguard. These guys are really good with shields and stamina regeneration. Uh, they are very vastly played. If you play on the Direfall Covenant, that's probably the most uh, most of the people play as red guard if they're tanking because of the stamina and shield alright the Aldmeri Dominion this one's really cool I actually really like this one um, so the first class we're gonna go over or race is High Elf High Elf they are really good with magic they have a Magicka boost and their generation is quite good uh, and their destruct destructive spells are really 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 good uh, you can level them up with skills later which I'll go over skills in a totally different video alright the wood elf uh, wood elves are really good with archery stamina and stealth and they're very good night blades and I've never personally played one but I know many of people who have and they really enjoy it so yeah you like being an elf you like being short you like sneaking around what elf it is Khajiit Khajiit are the cats uh, they obviously because they are cats they have uh, good stealth, health regeneration, and they are good at pretty much any type of combat. Alright, moving on to the Ebonheart Pact. We're going to start off with the Argonian. Argonians. Argonians are lizards, and they have bonuses to healing, restoration, and poison resistance. This is very, very good. If you want to be a werewolf, uh, I would highly recommend this because werewolves have a uh, backfall to poison. And uh, pretty much they are, it's going to cancel out the imbalance. The Dark Elf. Dark Elves, this was my first character. I really enjoyed him. He was really fun. Um... The only problem was the quests are really boring on the Ebonheart pack, in my opinion, and they just don't add up to everything that Daggerfall and Outmere Dominion uh, bring up. But anyway, these guys have bonuses in dual wielding, fire magic, and fire resistance. So if you're going to be, let's say you want to be a vampire, uh, vampires have a obvious uh, downfall whenever it comes to fire so I highly recommend Dark Elf if you're going to play with fire and obviously be a vampire if that's a later on goal that you plan to achieve towards the end of the game the Nords this is another human race uh, the Nords they have really good two-handed weapon skills their health regeneration is good and they have frost resistance. Uh, if you can't tell what the Ebonheart packed, each of these characters has a certain resistance to something. 
uh, Nords have a frost resistance, and I've never played a Nord, but I hear it's very apparent whenever you're going against a monster throwing ice balls at you. Alright, the final race that I cannot show you because I do not have the expansion is an Imperial. Imperials I do not know much about, but I've seen people play them and I know that they're very good warriors and basically they, if you've played any other Elder Scrolls and know the story behind this one, they're basically the big law enforcers, cop people in the game. Alright, so classes. This one's fun. So the Dragon Knight is your typical tank, uh, no healing skills. Uh, he has very few, but it's not class skills. The Sorcerers, these guys do tons and tons and tons of damage. You want to throw a fireball from the sky, blow up your enemy and turn him to ash, be a Sorcerer. They're very high DPS, they have dark magic, they can summon Daedric, and overall they're a very, very, very strong cl class. Nightblade. Forewarning if you want to run around like in Skyrim and shoot people with your bow and ruin people's day, I am sorry to tell you you cannot do it on here. You cannot one-shot someone by stealth. Uh, it's It comes in handy very highly if you're a PvP player, but me, I don't play PvP, and the Nightblade isn't really for me. Moving on to the Templar. The Templar, these guys are crazy good at everything. You want to heal with just class skills, go on ahead, be a Templar, you want to fight, be a tank, and heal yourself while healing others, go on ahead, be a Templar. You can do basically anything with a Templar. I'm not saying that this is the best class, but I'm saying if you're wanting to heal yourself and others and be a healer, I highly recommend Templar. Moving on to the body customizations, I'm going to move this character to no gear. And we're just going to look at this for a second. I'm only going to scroll through a few of each things because I don't want to take up too much time. And you look at the video and say, wow, this is a 50 minute video. I don't want to watch this. Okay, so the body type, you can change from anything. Uh, you want to be fat? Go on ahead. You want to be skinny? Go on ahead. You want to be really muscular? Go on ahead. You can do anything that you want with this little triangle. Same thing goes for the face. You can be really heroic and look angry at the world. You can be super skinny or you can be super gentle like you just ate a whole bunch of cupcakes and you're in a really good mood. So back to the body. You can change your height. If you want to be really short, go on ahead. You want to be really tall, go on ahead. Uh, obviously you can change your skin color because this is a video game. Uh, it's an MMORPG to be exact. So body markings, basically you can just change your body tattoos. Um, all this other stuff, torso size, chest size, gut size, waist size, arm size, hand size, hip size, posterior dimensions, and leg size and foot size. Uh, these are all really, really, really in depth and they... I'm not going to go over them because it's very self-explanatory uh, and it would take way too long to explain each of them. So for the face, like I said earlier, you can make a character look mad, you can make him look skinny, or you can make him look like he loves everybody and plays with puppies for a living. Alright, so you can change your voice in this game. You want to sound like this? or you could go on ahead and sound like this so you can change the hairstyles you can change your hair color you want black hair go on ahead you want white hair go on ahead you want gray hair go on ahead 
Uh, you can change your age. You want to look really old, look like you're playing the game just to hook up with teenage girls that might be also playing an MMORPG. Go on ahead. You want to look really skinny like you just got out of college. Go on ahead. Okay, adornment. This is basically your facial hair. That's all it is. Head marking. Your scars, tattoos, anything on your face. And then here are the face things that I am not going to go over because they're very self-explanatory. Forehead slope, cheekbone size, cheekbone height, jaw size, chin size, chin height, and neck size. Alright, moving on to the eyes. You can have green eyes, you can have blue eyes, you can have white eyes, you can have brown eyes. You do what you want with your eye color and I'm not going to tell you how to do it it's very self-explanatory there's all the big things that I'm not really going to go over the eye size, eye angle, eye separation, eye height, eye squint like you want to look permanently surprised go on ahead you want to look like you're like planning something evil go on ahead all right, you can change your eyebrows in here. Like this guy has no eyebrows, and he looks really surprised. So we're gonna go on ahead and give him a uh, surprised look. Now, eyebrow height, obviously, eyebrow shrew, which is this. This is actually kind of not explanatory. You move side to side. <laughs> And eyebrow depth is another one of those things that we're not going to get into. Nose shape. You can change the way your nose looks. Pretty self-explanatory. Nose height, nose width, nose length, mouth height, mouth curve. You want to be really happy going ahead. Lip fullness. Go on ahead. Ear size, ear rotation, ear height, ear tip flare. Go, there you go. So, this is my basic uh, walkthrough of each character. Um, like I said, uh, this is my very first video. Sorry about that. Just hit the mic. And, yeah, so I hope everyone has a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next video.